Hi there, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to just bring some info for the what's happening in Maui, the big fires. Fires are over now, but the major devastation that's happening. So as you know, when, when all this has started happening, the fires, like right now there's fires in Canada and different parts of the states. And um, so remember fire is like purging. It's like transformation you know, remember remember the phoenix you know everything gets burned down to ash and then the phoenix rising okay so for the the area of maui like um what's happening on an energetic level on a higher level is there's a, a major unfolding of what i call the divine plan okay this time period really is about um the purification it's about the revealing of darkness and it's about bringing clarity and moving towards the new paradigm which is what's actually happening uh the frequency of the new paradigm is really high level energy the world the earth itself is all everything is moving energetically into a higher vibrational frequency okay so the the area that was most damaged uh, clearly is lahaina area and that whole area when I start tracking it, I'm like really looking, I'm going deeper into uh, the energy frequency, I'm tracking back through time. And the first thing that starts to present to me, now remember, this is all about the unfolding. This is a divine plan unfolding, okay? So as I look back into the energy of Maui, I go back through time, looking at the frequencies. There's a lot of energy in Maui, a lot of stuck energies, older energies, Remember, it was like a you know an older town, an older area, and and lots of you know uh, anchored in places, buildings, um, belief systems, all of that. Okay, so there was something happening in that energy field. When I look at it, there is this darker frequency, and when I get a sense of okay, I'm asking like, was this actually yes? Okay. So just back up a little bit. I've had experiences where I've been to different areas where there's been energies in the earth itself, dark energies, negative energies, okay? Those, those need to be opened up so those darker frequencies can be released so they can come out of the energy and no longer be in the earth itself. So as I'm tracking back and looking at the energy frequency in that area, I am seeing an energy that, yeah, that's all volcanic energy, volcanic, uh, the, the island, all of that. But there's, a, there's still like a darker frequencies in there that by, by the fire happening, there was something that shifted the energy frequency. And that black energy, even though it's not totally coming out, there, the top layer basically has been revealed and exposed, okay? So there's also something else happening with this devastation. I see all these other energies coming from different places in the world, but it has to do with like people's businesses, companies, something where it's almost like, it's like, you know, when people, when devastation happens, here come the wolves, here comes the, you know, the, the peoples that want to take advantage, okay? So there's, there's a lot of these energy frequencies coming that want to, you know, uh, claim the land or something, take, buy it, claim it, something, possess it, okay? So, but the, the thing about the devastation is the burning, the, the energy that's been burned so intensely, um, the devastation is such that it's going to take a lot of time to really truly clean these these areas up okay and and ultimately what i actually see happening is once the cleanup like the true cleanup is going to take time but i really do see i actually see like like almost like even screen wow well, interesting okay like almost like you know like bull, like there's all this stuff okay and they're gonna to have to move it bulldoze it but there's something that's actually kind of positive about moving all this debris, all these burned things, and like there's so much of it. But as that's moving, there's something else because the earth itself, you know, it's like it got burned, okay? Even the trees, it goes down into the earth, you know, into the root system. So there's a, there's a lot of things happening that we aren't 
aware of because we don't see it with our eyes. But there's a lot of energy that's going down into the earth itself where things are literally being burned, that they got burned, okay? That's shifting the energy there. That's affecting that really dark black energy that's, that's still in the earth in a way that now it starts, it'll start dissolving, okay? So it's no longer a big old black energy in that whole area. Now there's energy, things going down into the, into the earth itself and, and it has burned into that blackness. So now there's all these holes in the blackness, so to speak. And now that blackness will be seeping out. So what we're gonna be getting is people with greed, okay? people wanting to take over, taking away people's rights, whatever you know, um, that type of thing. And as the cleanup starts to happen, I actually literally see, a, you know, more light actually happening, um, a purer light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I also think, keep in mind that this is, you know, this is like ancient land, so to speak, you know, I mean, it's not as old as many other places, but it's still ancient. And it has all the frequencies of, you know, many, 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 many years of people's belief systems, okay? And here's another thing that's happening. Belief systems, like that's all paradigm. We know we can't hold on to the, the old ways or the, or the belief systems. So these areas were held in strong belief systems, okay? So that's now that's gone. That, those belief systems are, are basically burned, wiped out. It doesn't mean that people won't keep trying to come in with these belief systems, the old ways, but there is something that I see very clearly. And I mean, just imagine here's the earth all burnt and everything and you got cars and you got trees and how, debris, okay? Coming in and moving that, there's something about that moving that energy, the scraping of that energy. When that happens, the energy underneath of all of that, now that that black has been pierced, that black is dissolving, something's now presenting in a way that has a lot of light, okay? a lot of light it's like it's like a bright yellowy kind of white light and it's it has that higher vibrational frequency of higher consciousness okay so what you know on a on a you know like if we look at the bigger picture what is not of light what is not of love is not part of the new paradigm there's places in the Hawaiian islands uh, and that, that whole area is one of them where a lot of there's a lot of darker energies okay so again it isn't just the maui area it's the whole world is in some kind of burn okay because the purging of the darkness the revealing of the darkness has to come to the surface it has to be exposed this is what it looks like this is part of the purging process and what purging looks like okay so yes it's been a horror yes it's devastating yes it's disrupted lives yes there's been many many people that have been killed through that fire and yet when we look at the bigger picture you know there's always been human life taken through natural disasters for fires tornadoes hurricanes all kinds of stuff blizzards all of that it's part of the purge it's part of the you know the sheathing of the energies in order for the new energy to come forth okay? so in a sense this you know mar that whole area Maui, that whole area of Maui, that too was part of the big purge, the big unraveling, the big clearing to allow for the new paradigm, for the new lighter energies, for the frequency of a higher, higher level vibrational frequency of love and light to come forth. You can't bring love and light and anchor it in when there is a darkness in an energy field, in an energy in the earth itself or in an area. Okay. We have many of those kinds of areas. And by, by purging and clearing the darkness, then light starts to get revealed. Okay. And you know, keep in mind too that in the divine plan in its unfolding, it, it's not, you know, it's not about uh, making sure everybody lives, it's about the purge, it's about the unraveling, it's a clearing. You know, we're we're going through that sheathing process right now. And it's going to be even more. There's more coming, okay? Because the energy frequency of that new paradigm is getting brighter, brighter, brighter. Things of darkness cannot live and survive in that, and it's going to get revealed. That's why we also see all the different things that are happening. 
you know, everything's coming to the surface, all the negativity, the greed, the hatred, the prejudice, everything's coming to the surface and being revealed so that it can be shifted in, and changed in order for the light to prevail, which it will, okay? But in order for that new paradigm, the higher vibration, the higher frequency to really prevail, darkness has to be exposed, revealed, and it has to be cleared and wiped out. And ultimately that is what's happening. Of course, you know, everybody that's in the, involved there, I mean, people are flying in from all over to help, but then you also have people coming in, flying in to take advantage, okay? To get what they can or whatever. You know, you always have that. But basically too, going back to the, you know, the, the peoples and the devastation, what that's going to do is people are going to come together even more because there's, if you're not, if you're not familiar with it, but even though, you know, they want tourism, they don't want tourism. Okay. They're, it's like the, the Hawaiians, they're, 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 they're a culture all their own. They don't like the Howleys. They don't like the, the foreigners. They put up with it because they want the money. All right. So there's something different that's going to be happening because of this major crisis. Peoples that live there, peoples of the island, the, the you know, the ancestral families, the, the beings that have been there for, you know, since the, their peoples got there. Um, it's like there's a whole new thing happening. I see a different coming together, a different way of, you know, being together and working together to, to benefit the whole. So we've got something really good coming from that, as well as the actual frequency is going to be shifted and changed as well. And the whole energy frequency of people coming together, because what you have, like these, some of these people, they've, they've got the old ways, they got the ancient ways anchored in them. It's come through their bloodline, through their ancestors, okay? So they have these strong beliefs. But what's also happening is, in those strong beliefs, there's a, a, a shifting and changing that things have to be done differently, okay? So if you're gonna be dependent on tourism, you can't hate tourists, okay? If you want them to come, something has to shift and change. So there's gonna be a lot of changes happening, you know, at that emotional level and a consciousness level where people also, what's also happening too is peoples are coming from all over and that's demonstrating to these people, the Hawaiians, that, whoa, not everybody just wants to come here and, you know, harm our, our island or whatever. Oh, there's people who really do care about us. That's also a really positive, important aspect of what's happening for the Hawaiian peoples is, whoa, the true realization, the true understanding that, you know, they're not just alone, but that there are many, many peoples throughout the world that truly have a caring about their well-being. That is going to be a really positive energy frequency for, for that, for their culture, for the peoples that are, that are there. But ultimately, as I kind of keep going on down further into the future, I just see, uh -huh. okay, so I don't see that area it's being built like it once was, okay? But there's something that goes more into a more um, healthier and more natural state of awareness, state of consciousness. I see more light literally coming. I see more people coming together, helping each other. You know, remember, crisis pulls people together, and this is a major crisis. But it's a major transformation, people. That's another piece here, is this is transformation. It's a shift in consciousness, it's a shift in the behaviors and the old ways of this particular cultured culture of peoples, okay? So a lot of really good positive things are gonna happen, you know, in time. And again, this is part of that divine plan unfolding where things of darkness, things are not of light, things are not of the new paradigm, you know, they're gonna be revealed, they're gonna be exposed, you know, it's not gonna be pretty and you know, we just keep holding that light for every one of us. The, the key is just keep holding love and light no matter what's happening, no matter who it's happening to. But we hold that frequency of pure, unconditional love and light for all, all beings, all, all of humanity, for the critters of the world, you know, for, for the vegetation, everything. You know, holding that pure, pure, pure love and light with the true understanding that there is a divine plan unfolding. We cannot stop it. But the, but the key is get in the flow 
of that divine plan and we'll be guided and we'll be finding ourselves exactly where we are meant to be or should be to do whatever it is that we're called to do, okay? So ending on this note, even though it's a major disaster or there's a rebuilding that's gonna be different, full of much more light, more consciousness, more awareness, that, that will bring more of that true paradigm, the, the new paradigm coming into the world and the earth itself. All right, doing our part, hold the love and light.